somewhere Any place is better Start from zero, got nothing to lose Maybe we can make something Me, myself, I got nothing to prove Hey, sports fan, Tracy Chapman at Fast Car is uh, in the rack for today. Saw her performance with Luke Combs on the Grammys, and I thought that was fabulous. Buddy of mine over at uh, Rock and Pop Mandolin uh, was inspired to create a lesson to show you how to play it on the mandolin. So I thought I would um, match that with uh, how I could play it on the harmonica. I really like the finger picking, though, in the uh, original. Um, so I thought I'd keep uh, a couple of times through the finger picking, then switch to harmonica, then some vocals. And then you can throw in harmonica kind of wherever you want after that. So it's really easy finger picking, which is uh, one of the reasons why I like it. Uh, so I'll show you real quick. You just need your thumb and your index finger for this. And you're going to do some pinch chords and a little hammer down here. So capo is at the second fret. We're going to be playing in the key of A. So uh, the G shape is our root chord, all right? Doesn't start on the root chord, however, which is a bit uh, of um, an interesting note on this song. It starts on the four or the C chord. So you start with a C major seven, which is just uh, you make a C chord, but, but uh, lift up that index finger. And what you want to do is just kind of pinch the uh, bass C, right, and the open B. And then hammer down that, uh, if there was no capo, what would be like a C note. Uh, so I guess it's a D here. So you're going from C sharp to D. Right? Hammering it down. And then... Uh, lift up that index finger again to have it uh, open. Cool. Then you're going to go to um, kind of a partial G with an added D. So if you're going to play a full G with an added D, right, it would be like that where you're adding that third finger on the, the B string at the uh, third fret from the capo. Um, to make it easier, you're just going to play it uh, the two strings you need because you're going to pick the bass, which is at the third fret. So uh, it's an A and that's an E down there on the B string, and you're hitting that with your pinky. These guys are doing nothing. They're just waiting their turn, all right? So then after I pick that chord, pinch chord, my index finger to uh, pluck the B string and the G string. So that's an E and an A because it's open. All right? So, so far we have this. I'm going to slide up to where it would be like an E minor chord, right? But we're again just going to use the uh, note that is on that B string, which is here at your 10th fret with your pinky, and pinch with the uh, A string, which is your index finger, there at the 9th fret. All right? So that's kind of like an E minor chord. And then you slide it down to where you've got your index finger then at the 7th fret, and your pinky at the ninth fret, down there on that B string. Pick it again, so. That's like a D chord, right? If you were to bar it with an A shape. I think the combination of the index finger and the pinky is the best, so you can make that reach, because it is a bit of a reach um, across two uh, frets. It would be you know, you might be tempted to use your stronger middle finger, but uh, that one is a little too stretchy for me. So I like to use my pinky on my index. 
and that's it. Then you just repeat it. Ah, I forgot to mention the little pick I do. So after the pinch, I again strum the, uh, the uh, B string and the A string. order don't I so down here it's the uh, B string and then the uh, a G string here I do the open string the open uh, G string which is an A note because of the capo and then the B string That is the chord progression. It's a C and a G, E minor, and D. And then repeat. So if you're strumming them, which we're about to do, it would be the uh, C. You can do it either full C or the major seven. Down to the G shape, E minor, D. C and G, E minor, D. All right? That's uh, to strum, because I can't finger pick and play the harmonica at the, the same time. My mind just won't allow it. <laughs> it would explode, something bad would happen. So um, uh, when I'm going to play the harmonica, I'll uh, switch to strumming to give my brain a bit of a break. <laughs> All right, so after I've been through the finger-picking chord progression uh, a couple of times, I'm going to switch and play it on the harmonica. We're in the key of A, we'll call this capo, remember, of the second fret. So a G chord magically becomes an A. Uh, and I'm playing in first position. So uh, this is an A harmonica, diatonic, Richter-tuned harmonica that I've got on the rack um, for fast cars. All right? There is a bit of a trick, for me at least, because um, I like to include that finger picking because it's easy. It only uses these two fingers. Um, but when I'm strumming for the harmonica bit and singing, I like to have a flat pick. Um, so you could use your nail, I suppose, or your thumb. Uh, I prefer to use a flat pick. So how do I get a flat pick in my hand? Uh, <laughs> after I've been finger picking. Uh, this one's pretty simple. Like I said, it only uses these two fingers. So I take my pick, uh, where can you see it? And I put it in between my knuckles on my, um, my middle finger. I hook it in there uh, vertically because I like to play on the side of my pick on kind of the, the more rounded edge, not the really pointy part. Uh, so. I'll put it in there, hook it in. I've still got my um, my thumb and my index finger free. So it's after playing that chord progression. Now I'm going to start strumming and playing it on the harmonica. So I magically produce the pick. I run through it twice. The first ver uh, time through, rather, is really kind of basic. The second time through is only a little bit more elaborate. And I'm kind of working off what that um, the, the B and the uh, G strings are doing. Uh, that's kind of the basic version. Then somewhat more um, busy version would be like this. Right? So those are the two things that I uh, try to mimic on the harmonica. I'm going to show you how to do that now. All right? I will be strumming the chords. Uh, C major 7, G chord, E minor, and D. And 
I'll put all the notes in the harmonica up in the picto tab, where a blue, as always, means blow, blue for blow, and red means to draw on that hole because we never say suck. <laughs> we leave that to the audience. Uh, <laughs> it happens. Uh, all right, so uh, follow along, and um, this is uh, kind of the riff from uh, Fast Cars. All right, that's the first time through, very basic. Only slightly less basic is the second time through. And that's just the end part if you want to put an ending in. All right, I think that equips you with everything you need if you would like to play a combination of uh, finger picking and harmonica for Fast Cars by uh, Tracy Chapman, and more recently by uh, Luke Combs. Hey, thanks for uh, joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson, and I hope you hit uh, like and uh, subscribe. Maybe uh, leave me a comment uh, in the comment section for today to let me know you're out there. All right? Thanks. I hope to see you again.